We're in St Andrews today and it's a beautiful sunny day at the moment so uh, I'm hoping I'll get some really nice sh footage of the town and the uh, I think there's an old castle and cathedral here um, and the beach so keep watching and see what we get up to. Hello, look at me buns. Uh, I had to stop recording because I ran out of uh, charging my back phone and um, I forgot to take my special um, battery bank, which I bought especially for that reason, with me. So <laughs> I apologise for the rather abrupt ending. We didn't actually see that much more, really. Oh, but I did go to the Sainsbury's local in the centre of St Andrews and get very excited to see these i don't usually see these at morrison's well these are that's because these are sainsbury's own brand free <laughs> from but um morrison's don't do an equivalent of it well they don't at my shop anyway so i treated myself because um i love cherry bakewells it's ages since i've had one so i'm going to have a what i believe in scotland is sometimes referred to as a fine piece Someone many moons ago, a Scottish person, I might add, and not just a Scottish person, but a Pfeiffer, uh, no less, told me that you could, you could call your sandwich in your lunch your fine piece, no, your piece, and your bun or your biscuit, your fine piece. So I think this is a fine piece. Anyway, I'm just going to show you what else I purchased. There's not a lot, um, but I'll show you anyway, because it's still interesting, isn't it? Last time we went to St Andrews, I bought some little greetings card and event calendars for myself and the children. Um, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, we went back in that shop. It was a lovely bookshop um, and craft shop. And I did see them there, but they didn't really appeal to me very much. But then we went into this shop called, um, can you see it on the label? It was called Bonkers. <laughs> And they had these lovely little advent calendar cards um, and they're by Roger Laborde, which is a really a favourite stationery designer and greetings card designer of mine. 
So Ivy helped me pick this one for Cosmo with the foxes and it is glittery, but I don't know if you can see that really clearly. And she chose this one with the deer and the foxes and the bunnies and things for herself. What's that, is that a badger? Oh no, it's a hedgehog. <laughs> and a pretty Christmas tree, isn't that lovely? So that was one thing I got. This was the other thing I got from Paper Chase. These were on three for two, and it's it's like um, masking tape, but it's patterned and coloured. Oh, is it going to focus? Hopefully it's focusing on that, yeah. So look, this one's all sort of sugar plum fairy designs and castles and things. This one has really cute gingies on it, and it's red and white striped, so of course I love that because anything that's sort of candy cane or peppermint stripey appeals to me and then this one is like a natural like a brownie color and it's got all these christmasy characters on it that doesn't want to focus as well oh that's a bit better so these are they weren't exactly what you'd call cheap they were three pounds each but then they were on three for two so it was six pounds and i got 20 meters on each roll and i thought that would be one small thing I could do towards being a little bit more eco-friendly with my Christmas wrapping this year. So that really pleased me. And actually, if you were going to just wrap in brown paper, um, that that would make it really special, wouldn't it? You know, that and then a really nice tag on it would make them look really lovely, wouldn't it? And that would be good because these designs would show up against that really well. Oh, I do beg your pardon. There was one other thing I got from Paper Chase, but I can't show it because it's a present for a friend. Feeling very tired tonight, so I'm probably going to have an early night. But I think I'm going to work on this a little bit. This is the Amour Shawl. Um, I can't remember the name of the designer. I'll have a look and I'll tell you tomorrow. Uh, and it's growing really quickly. I only started it yesterday. Did a bit in the car and a bit last night and only a couple of rows this morning. So it's all coming, coming on rather swimmingly. So I think I'm going to perhaps catch up on a few Vlogtober videos and do a little bit on this and have an early night. So thank you for watching and hopefully I'll have a bit more footage tomorrow if I remember to take my power bank with me. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye.